Verizon says it fixed the problem that caused a widespread outage this morning, but that outage came at a critical time, and first responders say it highlights a need for all of us to plan ahead. John Shumway shows us the recommendations. As Pittsburgh was beginning its day, word of the Verizon outage spread. Right around shift change for us, which is between 6 and 7 a.m., and it lasted for about an hour and a half. Allegheny County's 911 center was notified directly by Verizon. It was pretty much statewide, and it was Verizon-specific cellular. While Verizon notified first response centers from here to Philadelphia, Verizon spokesman David Weissman says in a statement to KDKA, quote, customers that were impacted were primarily from Pittsburgh area to the south and west, end quote. Ross Westview EMS is in the impacted area. We have a significant amount of technology in all of our ambulances and uh, response vehicles. Um, when that, and it's all Verizon based, when that cellular service or uh, data goes out, um, we have to resort back to old technology to find our way to houses. In other words, they pull out the old map books, but they also lost cloud-based patient information on laptops and their ability to connect heart monitors directly to doctors at the local hospitals. And that certainly slows us down. The technology has become very relied on. With so many people dropping their landlines, Chief Brown says an outage like today's leaves those people without a way to get in touch with this center. Realizing how vulnerable we all can be. So the first responders say plan ahead. I think uh, knowing what your neighbors have access to is a good way to do that. Maybe they've got a landline. Maybe they've got a different cellular carrier. And there's this idea. Go to a business. If you've got a business close by to home and you need to make an emergency call, businesses usually still maintain landlines. Bottom line, first responders say this is something you need to think about now and make your plans for that time they hope will never happen when you've got an emergency situation and your cell phone doesn't work. In Moon Township, John Shumway, KDKA News.